Hello friend, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to show you a magical export in Microsoft PowerPoint presentation using the macro. Here click on view, macro, select the macro, run, set DPI for export, select the DPI that you want to export, 100, 200, 300, 600, 1200. So I am going to select 4 for the 600, press OK. Second option set image format for export, I am keeping 1 for the JPG format, press OK. Now select your location where you want to save your exported image file. Here you can see export complete, image saved to the location. Okay. Here I am going to open the exported image. You can see image have very high quality pixel. So how you can perform this in your Microsoft PowerPoint presentation? I am going to show you in this tutorial. So let's get started. For this I am going to show you how you can prepare the macro in your Microsoft PowerPoint presentation or I will provide you the macro enable PowerPoint presentation file so that you can use that for your export purpose and I prepared this using the visual basic editor you can get in the developer tab select this and here you can see visual basic and if you open this this will open a new window of visual basic editor in which I have added the module and the visual basic code for the export setting. For this if you have opened any presentation file you can select here insert module so module will be inserted and you can paste or you can write your code here and you can save this. And if you are not able to find developer option, you can click here, customize ribbon and check the developer option if it is unchecked in your main tab and press OK. Then you will be able to see the developer option and the option available in the developer tab. And you have to save this in the format of PowerPoint macro enable presentation. Otherwise, you will not be able to save the PowerPoint file along with the micro. And you can use this file for the export of your illustration or images in your system. And the one more important thing you have to do in your case that is enabling the macro so that you can perform the macro. For this, you can select the file option in the option. If you click here on the trust center, trust center setting and macro setting, you can see here you have to select the enable all macro and also developer macro setting. Press OK so that you can run the macro, otherwise, you will not be able to perform the this action. And here I am showing the my presentation file having different type of the cell population and if you select the view macro and in this file you can see here cd4 memory subset there is no macro available but if you already open any macro enabled powerpoint presentation file you can also use in all other presentation at the same time so I am going to just select all open presentation here. Now you can see the macro is available for this file as well. So I am going to select this, click here run. Now you can enter the desired DPI option like 1 for 100, 2 for 200 DPI, 3 for 300, 4 for 600 and 5 for 1200. So I am going to select 3 to export the file. In 300 dpi press ok now you can select the option jpg png or bmp and here visual basic editor 
does not support the tiff so you cannot use for tiff file but i will show you how you can convert the jpg png in the tiff format very easily using the third party software going for the jpg press ok now you can select your location where you want to export your file i'm going to press ok here you can see the message export complete image saved to the location and here you can see file is exported in 300 dpi the jpg format so it is very essential and very easy to perform this action i will provide the macro enable presentation file so that you can just open in your system and enable your macro setting and use for your export like for 300 600 in your desired dpi option and now i am going to show you that how you can convert image format from jpg to png tiff or png to tiff or jpg in a very easy way for this search image magic and you can use this for linux mac and windows as well so i'm selecting the windows here and you can download for win for window so i have already downloaded the file and install it in your system and i have already installed in my system so i'm not going to install again open cmd run as administrator and select the file right click copy path and in the cmd you type magic space right click you can see file is paste along with the path press space bar again press the right button on the mouse and you can change the format here like slide 1 dot jpg to i'm going to delete the jpg and i'm going to put tif press enter in the file you, you can see here jpg file is now converted into tif file i'm going to open this so in this way you can convert the jpg to tif or any format using the image magic tool in this way you can see it is very easy to export the image from the powerpoint presentation and convert into tif file in windows pc but i will show you for the mac as well in my upcoming tutorial and i hope this may help you in your research or any presentation that you are working on and if you like the video please subscribe my channel thank you